some ways, uh, thematically, these are American teenagers, adolescents. Um, uh, I don't know, maybe it's a continuation. There are more characters that I, I'm drawn to, uh, that I find interesting. Uh, spring Break is kind of a rite of passage in America. Uh, in some ways, it's metaphorical in the film. Um, I feel like the girls uh, and Franco's character are kind of, uh, yeah, are compelling in that way of this culture, of that culture. Art at all. Um, <laughs> um, I came on um, halfway through the shoot and um, they had already been shooting for, for at least a few weeks and I think, um, I think Harmony just did, you know, uh, an amazing job with, with casting. He, he picked all the right people. And so when I got there, everybody was uh, so into it. I, 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 think, I think we all just were waiting for a movie like this to be a part of. And so, um, I don't know, it, it, it was sort of uh, effortless. And, and um, we, we just rolled with it, you know, so. It wasn't hard. It was, it was fun. Yeah, I love that. Uh, it was very deliberate. Um, and it was a dream. Uh, like these, you know, these girls are uh, also of this culture and of this world. And um, there's a lot of meaning in them doing the film and uh, to them doing the film. And there's a, uh, it was exciting for me. It was, it was kind of like, uh, in some ways, it, when I was conceptualizing the movie, when I was thinking it up and talking about who could play these characters. It was just like uh, a fantasy or something to have, to have these girls uh, be a part of it. And so obviously I was uh, super excited when they agreed. Because uh, yeah, I wanted to make a film. I'd been trying, I'd been working, in my mind I'd been trying to develop this style for a while or this, this, this idea of motion and liquid narrative. Um, I wanted to make a film that, that had very little dialogue that was more uh, sensory that was more like something as an experience uh, that you felt that kind of went through you and I wanted it to be almost like a, an attack of, of sounds and images and um, in some ways it was meant to be like a, a pop poem or something like using both high and low and having them coalesce and collide and so <clears throat> the style was like a yeah, so, it, so maybe it has a little bit of that feeling. I know that coming from Disney Channel gives you kind of a, a brand in a way, and they do put a label on you. I know that I have younger fans, and this is an opportunity for myself to kind of grow. Um, it is a little shocking, I think, for the younger audiences and for having that background, but I think it was right for me. You know, I do everything for my younger fans. I do everything for my fans, and this one was more for me in a way. They're gonna love this shit. <laughs> They're gonna love this shit. <laughs> All those Disney fans. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's just, it's an exciting ride, this movie, and I'm very, very proud of it. I mean, everyone in the cast did such a fantastic job. It was just a whole new experience, and I think that's what's so brilliant about acting, is playing these different characters and having these new experiences and being thrown into situations. Personally, I don't think I would be thrown into, but, I mean, it was just overall something that I will always look back on and like have this as a piece of art, a piece of something that I'm just so genuinely proud of. Uh, I constructed the film. The movie was like, a, uh, like two years ago, I, I had a dream, I just had a picture, an image of, uh, in my mind of like a, a girls uh, in bikinis and ski masks robbing uh, fat tourists. And like, or just tourists on the beach, just walking down the, the, the shoreline with guns. Um, and like I like I liked the image. It was it seemed to be there was something kind of iconic about it. And so I started, I just started trying to build a story or narrative around the picture. Um, so I was thinking, if these girls existed, where would they exist? How would they exist? Where would that come from? And then I started to think about girls in bikinis and spring break. And then I started collecting lots of images of spring break. And then I started building a story that way, uh, based on a, an image. And he also wrote the script w during spring break. 
in yeah. Panama City, Florida. I sent him down there, and he didn't come back till he finished the script. <laughs> yeah, I wrote the script in, during spring break. There were kids puking on my door, fucking in the hallways, lighting shit on fire. Uh, there, were mi there were midgets having sex and chandeliers. I found a jawbone and a carpet. Uh, it was pretty crazy. That Michael Shannon said I scared him when we made the Iceman. He kills me in the Iceman. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, I might have, I've done three movies with him. I might have scared him in uh, this movie called The Broken Tower because I, we have a sex scene in that. And uh, he got really scared. I had to take him out to dinner to talk him into it. And uh, so I think that's when I scared him. <laughs> but uh, what was the question? Oh, how did we do that? Uh, that was Mike. Britney Spears. The Britney Spears scene was um, something that I think was also integral to um, just the style of the film. She, you know, Britney, Britney videos, Britney songs um, were just stylistically a big influence on on the whole film. So um, it was just, I think, uh, a very important kind of piece to put an actual Britney song in there. It's transformed. We all sing it, and, and um, it's got a whole different kind of context than you know when it's on MTV. But um, I think it was a way to just uh, reach out and, and pull from the actual culture that you know this film is influenced by, and um, bring it into our world, and both use its its regular kind of. Um, um, significance in, in the culture, but also transform it by putting it into a new context. But I just, I just practiced the song in my trailer, and um, I don't sound anything like her, obviously, but um, <clears throat> just tried it, and the, and the ladies helped me out.